Welcome to the second part of the Oracle Mobile Application Framework demonstration. In the first part of this demonstration, you saw how to create a new feature and set up a, uh, a task flow and invoke a REST web service. In this, the second part of this demonstration, you're going to see how to create a new feature and invoke a SOAP web service on a single Mac, AMX page. Let's get started. So this is the base, the base of my demonstration. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new feature. And I'm gonna call this feature weather. So we're gonna be consuming a weather information web service. So the content of my uh, new feature, I'm gonna use a math AMX. And instead of use a task flow like I did before, so I'm gonna use the math AMX page. And then I'm going to give it a name of weather. And I don't need any prim primary action. I just need the header and click, click OK and set the preview. Start customizing my header here. It's going to be weather. So I don't have that data yet. So I have to grab that data from somewhere and that data is going to be coming from a SOAP web service. So what I have to do is just, you know, uh, right click on my project, go to the menu and select new uh, web service data control, SOAP or REST, if that is not available for you. So just go from gallery, select the web service data control, SOAP and REST under web services and then specify the name on your data control. I'm gonna call it weather DC as in data control. And then I can select SOAP or REST. In this case, we're gonna go with the SOAP uh, data control. And here is where we are gonna be getting that data from. So let me get the WSDL location. This is a public web service uh, providing uh, weather data. So we are gonna use that for this particular demonstration. Tap it out from that URL field. Uh, I copy the window locally, and then I can start seeing what kind of services I can uh, I can use, and then I have all the operations available on this weather uh, soap service. So I'm gonna use the get city weather by zip, and I select that one. Go to next. If I have any uh, schema definitions. Uh, for that for that particular uh, return or response or request, I can set it here. And then if I have any authentication, this is a public web service with no authentication. It's an unknown secure web service, so I don't have anything to set in here as well. And that's it. So that's all I have to do uh, to get my first uh, SOAP web service in. And then this is primarily you know uh, the type of return that I'm gonna get. So there's a bunch of data in there that we are going to customize. So I don't really need all of this on my app. So I'm gonna grab three or four of these fields and then present you know, back to the user. So let me close this, uh, go back in here, refresh the data. Now I have my weather uh, data control. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab uh, that method and drag and drop into my page here. And then I can create a, uh, a button or I can create a form. You know, basically, since I have to specify data, uh, which is the zip code for this uh, operation, so I need to create a form. And the form is, is already smart enough you know, to recognize that you know, the value that I'm going to be binding from the UI you know, is going to be going through uh, the zip. So that's what you have on the screen right now. So it also generates a button. And that button, uh, I can customize uh, the text a little bit, so I don't need get city weather by zip. So I'm just gonna call it uh, get weather. So you can see live uh, on the on the right. So I, you know, the screen that I'm creating. So there is a, a form that's gonna ask for the zip code. So I'm gonna tap it in and uh, type the zip code, and then push the get weather button. And this is the request part. So now on the response part, so I go and get the result. Uh, the result data set, drop onto the page, and then this is uh, not a this is a really only form that I'm going to be using right now. So and that's all the information returning from that um, from that web service. So I don't need the success. 
so let's say I don't need a response text. I want to get, you know, temperature is going to be the top one. Temperature, state, city, state, uh, weather station. I don't need that. Weather ID, I don't need that. I don't need the description. Let's get the winds back. Uh, pressure, visibility, wind shear remarks. There you go. So four fields out of all of those um, that comes back from, from the web service. So this is a pretty simplistic one page. Uh, App, you know, one page feature just invoking uh, data from a SOAP web service and getting the input, input from the user. Let me just start the deployment here. So, getting the input from the user and uh, as the zip code, hitting, tapping the button get weather, and that, you know, uh, that invocation of the web service will bring the data back. And then we're going to see the temperature, the city, state. Uh, and then you know what kind of you know wind conditions we have uh, for that particular location. So at this point, what we're gonna do here, we just you know uh, start the deployment process, and we're gonna do exactly the same thing that we did on the part one of this demonstration. So it's just deploy onto um, the iOS simulator on my machine, and we you know uh, we let J Developer do uh, its thing, and you know just just you know compile all the code that that's necessary. Uh, and then pass that information onto Xcode, Apple's Xcode, and Xcode is going to be creating the IPA and then you know uh, putting that that mobile application onto my iOS uh, simulator. So let's give it a moment here and uh, just finish for just wait for finishing the deployment. And you're going to see those two features that we created one on the first part of this demonstration and then this weather feature that we created on the second part you know working all together okay so we are pretty close and then um, Xcode just uh, finished deploying that uh, that application, our demo app, mobile application on the iOS simulator, and here it is. So that's the demo app. Our first feature is still there. So I have my contact contact list, and then I have uh, the weather feature, which is going to call and retrieve data. Let's specify here a zip code nine one nine four two, for example, and then I'm done, and I hit. Uh, get weather and that returns you know the temperature 70 degrees is the state of california uh city of la mesa and the winds are calm uh in this particular location thank you very much and we'll see you soon